All right, what's up, guys? Uh, so we are here with Mr. <laughs> Kentucky. Uh, Joey won the I Mr. Still, I <laughs> won the Mr. Kentucky uh, title over the weekend at the Kentucky State Show. Uh, you guys follow me, you know that I've posted things about him along the way, and you know I of course done the show too. But we're here to talk about him today and how the process went along the prep and how we got started with the prep. Um, and then, you know, the final outcome and how he feels now that, you know, he is officially Mr. Kentucky. I still can't get used to that. <laughs> so, first of all, uh, congratulations again. Thanks, man. Uh, John, I, John. I, I, dude, I couldn't have done it without you. I really, really couldn't have. For I sure. mean, that is a fact. So, sure. just putting that out there for everybody. <laughs> Seriously. This man, get after him. <laughs> so... We, uh, I think it was, what, 16 weeks you came to me and we started talking about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I know, I think I told you then I'd, I'd like to start with everybody and we're 14 weeks out. Mm -hmm. And the reason being 14 weeks out is I like to try to have people ready to go around wow. five weeks out. So mm -hmm. once we get to those final few weeks, mm -hmm. it makes everything kind of super smooth. You know, there's no, there's no, uh, it takes, it keeps your stress down from, you know, being ready at five weeks out. There, there's just no pressure to get the final week on. If you're not going to be ready enough, having to do an excess amount of cardio, uh, having to go through hell with super tight food. Um, so that's the reason I asked if we could start 14 weeks out. And then, we obviously did. Yeah. Uh, and... Do you remember some things we talked about around that time? Uh, for instance, I remember that first time posing, you were a little bit worried about how lean you could get, you know, by the time the show rode around. Well, actually, the, I think the biggest concern that I had was um, my body's um, ability to maintain the muscle mass that it had. Uh, because a number of years back, uh, in, I think it was 2015 was my last show before that. And whenever I died down, uh, the last week, I think I lost like 20, 25 pounds or something. It was, it was nuts. I, I shriveled down so bad. And so I had no doubt that, I had no doubt I'd be lean enough. It's just what would be left yeah. after I got lean. That was my, that was probably my biggest concern. And, but, then everything turned out great. <laughs> if you don't mind, if you mind this question, just ignore it. So your last prep, what happened that you dropped that you had did, did, did you have to drop that amount of weight in that in a little bit of time? To be completely honest, I'm not really sure. I think that um, I think that see whenever I had prepped the last time, uh, I I started the prep myself. And then a friend of ours got hold of me, and he uh, said that he would help me through the process, but he got to me late. He got to me probably about eight weeks out from the show, and I was probably already too far out at that point still, and so he had to really bring me down quick. And then I, I had, I just, I just plain wasn't ready. I mean, I had done a show back in 2013, two years prior, and I did that one just completely by myself. I was that guy. <laughs> I was that guy on stage who got up there and then everybody looked at and was like, what the heck is this guy doing up there? Oh, I guess that. No, no, it was bad. It was bad. And so, um, um, and so yeah, but they, I had to diet hard. And then when it got to the very end, I just I looked like a string bean. And it was, uh, I think I got on stage at like 190, 192 or something like that. Same height as I'm at now. And you, to jump on top of a little bit, what did you weigh in for this show? I weighed in at 212.4 this time. Um, I was actually able to keep, I was able to hold on to pretty much everything. I mean, because, I mean, one of the other things, differences between that prep years ago and this prep this time was that I was ready to get weaker during the last prep. And I allowed myself to train with less weight 
And the way I've always kind of thought about that in, ter in terms of if you're trying to keep the muscle that you have, you know, you have to, you have to make the muscles think they got to stay big. And the way you do that is by keeping the training heavy. And so that was another big difference this time was not just, not just the diet, because I think you, I think you actually recognize my body's ability to process a crap ton of food and you carved me up a lot and you know, you recognize that that was, that was the way to go. But what also helped was along the way, keeping my training heavy and mentally thinking all the time, I've got to keep, I've got to keep it heavy, got to keep it heavy, got to keep it heavy the whole time. And even to the point to where I was still getting stronger on some exercises. I mean, it was pretty crazy. I mean, it was, it was nuts. Like on certain exercises, especially this, even, even chest exercises, which is one of my weak points right now. Um, I would, I would consider my weak point. I think everybody else would too. Uh, but, um, even those were still starting to get a little stronger, even toward the end. Um, and so, um, I think that was, a big, I think that was another big difference was just keeping the intensity high, intensity high. Whereas I think before I let myself come down before. And so there was just a bunch of factors from before that I did completely wrong. And then this time everything just went completely right and everything was just wonderful. <laughs> Um, you talked about you talked about the food staying high, and mm -hmm. a goal of mine whenever I start with anyone, this is male or female, is to try to get them to a level of food where they are never completely in a suffering situation, mm -hmm. and that's what you know we did with you. Is mm -hmm. I took the food you were taking in each day before we started the prep. And looked at it, and I remember the first few weeks we did we we kind of kept all the same foods that we were having, and I remember right. Mm -hmm. And then we started to obviously we had to bring things down a little bit, but oh, yeah. once your body started burning fat, you know we were able to then when we threw in the high days, the high carb days, the low days, uh, but mo the, for the most part we were able to keep you on a decent amount of carbs. Oh all yeah, all the way through. Oh yeah, and what I'm getting at here is when your food is high like that, you didn't necessarily have to worry about, mm -hmm. for the most part, strength mm -hmm. up. So no, not lift that. food up, strength stayed up, mm -hmm. and then here comes the end. Um, well, then remember, that remember that famous, there's a famous quote from, I don't know about how famous it's quote, but I like the quote. It's from a famous nutritionist uh, where uh, he said, you know, I don't train hard so that I can eat carbs. I eat carbs so that I can train hard. And that really, really rained so true to me during this prep was, like, I'm being given these carbs, let's use them. You know, and that's, that was my mentality. Especially if you were gonna keep them high, I was like, all right, we're gonna use them. Like, if I'm staying high, yes, that's even, that's even better for muscle preservation. Like, I'm gonna be able to go hard and, I'll be able to keep everything, I'll be able to more likely keep more than what I thought I would be able to. And I, I did. <laughs> it was great. So moving on a little bit, we, we got down into, I think, well, not, I can't be exact about this, but I think it was week seven, maybe eight. We were in here doing a posing session and I put together that yeah. picture. Uh, mm -hmm. you, yeah. in your current state compared to day one yep. after imposing, mm -hmm. and I think we were both a little shocked at what had already transpired in terms of the fat and the, the changes in general so, was so crazy. in that amount of time. Yeah. Uh, at that point, I believe that's the point that I knew, well, I never had any doubts anyway from, from the time we, told, you know, we talked about how far we could get you. I was positive we could get him to, to a point we did. Uh, I don't know if I realized that we would get to that level because you were nasty. <laughs> <laughs> but at that point, what we did, where I put those pictures side by side, is when I knew that you know, we've got another seven weeks and this shit has already happened to this, this level. You've got this locked up. <laughs> Man, that was incredible. I mean, especially seeing that.
comparison side by side with the exact same pose. I still I mean, need to do the, the final pose in the beginning. Geez, this guy. Man, that would be crazy. It's, I think it, I think it was at that exact point that you were just talking about when I saw that that side by side comparison. <clears throat> I think that's when my confidence really, really started to go up. Was whenever I saw that side by side, and then up to that point, my confidence was. What, let me start over. At the beginning of this prep, I had a lot of doubts because I've suffered a couple of injuries, and I had to, I had to start dieting. I had this show in mind back in late March, and I had set myself to it. But I knew being, I think I was between 265 and 270 at that time. I was like, I knew that I was gonna have to start start dieting now in some capacity, otherwise if I just let myself go and then wait until 14 weeks out, then we're gonna have to crash diet again. And so I went ahead and lost about six, about 15 pounds, just cleaning up, just cleaning up my food myself. But then obviously, obviously I knew that at 14 weeks out or 12 weeks out, wherever I would end up starting prep, that's where I knew that, okay, at that point I need to have a coach if I want, if I want to give myself the best shot. And obviously you were here at the same gym as me and I've, I've seen you have so much success with everybody that you've worked with. I mean, everybody that you've worked with, you get them in condition. And, or even the people who are just doing lifestyle changes or whatever. I mean, everybody has just seen incredible results that they just brag and brag on across the board. And so, plus, plus that mixed with the level of accountability that comes with being prepped under you, I think those, I think those were big drivers to me to, I better stay on my stuff. You know, like, I better, I better stay on my stuff because when I get up there, I mean, this isn't just for me. You know, this is a reflection on, on him. This is a reflection on Steve. And not just Steve, I, I have considered it a reflection on my gym too, you know, and so. Yeah, I know that's the thing you talked about along the way. It's not just for you, like you're, you want to represent whoever is in association with you, you want to represent them to the fullest. You don't mean you don't achieve anything alone. <laughs> I, that's what I set out to do. I, I, I just, I still can't believe that I actually set my mind to this and then actually got it. There's no other feeling like it. There's no other feeling like it. Yeah, so, and what he's referring to is the Mr. Kentucky title. Mm -hmm. uh, that was a major goal of his going into this. The oh. Kentucky State Show is where, it's the only show in Kentucky in Kentucky where you can claim that title of Mr. Kentucky and well it's major. Uh, uh, <laughs> I want to put it in perspective, I I I first heard about the Mr. Kentucky title about 13, maybe 14 years ago. And just the moment that I heard that the name of that title Mr. Kentucky, I just I instantly wanted it right there. Like I was like, "That's it. That's what I want right there." And so that, like, that's that's been kind of like my Super Bowl or my Olympia, basically, is just is obtaining that title. And that's kind of how I thought of it. And so to me, this title just means so much to me, not just for me, but for the world. For everybody around me and how it's made everybody else around me feel. Yeah. You know, there's just nothing like it. There's nothing like I've gotten bombarded with so many awesome, awesome messages, just countless messages. I mean, it's been nuts. People who I haven't heard from in years, who and complete strangers, who will find me on Facebook, that will find me on Facebook or on IG. Um, uh, the uh, the guy that won the uh, overall overall. Uh, for that show, uh, one of his teammates actually wrote me to, but because he wanted to tell me how much he really, really enjoyed that battle between the two of us and stuff, yeah. and, and just I've had, I've had, and I've had a, a few other like instances like that as well, just from like complete strangers. Not to mention all the friends and family, who even family who hasn't said anything to me in years. They wrote me and they were like, man, that's really, really cool. <laughs> and I'm like, well, thank you. 
<laughs> um, I'm going to take a minute here, and, uh, and then we're going to come. We'll come back, and we'll get into the actual final week of your prayer, grinding into the show, and you know the rest of the okay. stuff.